So due to technical difficulties that I'm working on, I uh, interrupted the last year. I don't know where it is anymore. And so we're starting on page Kuflam at Bet, and, it, and the, the Zohar says like this, Open up your eyes, you'll see our destruction. And then also going to destroy the city, Yerushalayim. Now this particular phrase from Daniel really represents good things and bad things at the same time. Both of these two things are happening in this Pasuk at the same time. He lost the bow in the future. Uh, when Zer Anpin opens up his eyes, for for Rachmanus, because now he's sending the the Jews out into the into exile, in the destroyed uh, city of Yerushalayim. This is actually going to come out to be opening up the eyes for good for the Jews and bad for the Goyim. As Ein Yerushalayim, that is when the eye of Jerusalem, 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 as Yivna will be built. Yerushalayim shall Yisrochu b'tzad echad on one side. Biyach Reves Eni Adam shall Umas Oylem b'tzad Sheni. So he says it comes in the Umas Oylem when he's talking about Adam. He really means the power of our brother of Asaf. If it wasn't that they were destroyed, now if I'm not sure what this means, if this one is full, then the other one is uh, destroyed. This is a Yeshaya Nave al Yerushalayim. How to get these words together? He says that you would see this as a dwelling which is beautiful or very pleasant. Let's see. You will see Yerushalayim Nava Sha'anim. It's a dwelling place of pleasantness or goodness. So it's okay that will be, I think, uh, established, and it's not going to be. Its underpinnings will not be removed. Let's see. Let's see what his explanation is. Pirushas is there anpin. Yifkof enov. He will open up his eyes. The rose, the rose beir Yerushalayim. Shetihia nava shanan. Shanan. Yes. What does that mean? The haino mador sheket. So he said shanan is the is the place. I think uh, mador is the place, and shanan means it's quiet. So it will be like a tent that will not be moved and it will be not up, uh, uh, up uh, what's it right? What uprooted from its place? And it will not have a situation where it's uprooted. Its pegs, its foundations will not be uprooted forever. Now this idea is for good. And it's for bad. So here also, you have the concept of the opening of the eyes of Zeranpin. The tov of the raw yachad and good and bad at the same time. The lo is avid da below da, because ki lo naas haratov shuhu vinyan Yerushalayim. Because you're not going to see the good thing, which is the the, the building of Yerushalayim. Below do, below raw, without something bad going along with it, which is actually punishing the umas olam at the same time. So now he writes over here, brings a little bit the use of the sifra in the in the sifra uh, the the Some of the details over there is not a ton of it's niufa the sifra lamad of shepirusha she bepirusha so the shall save his sifra the niufa. As we're learning those secrets over there, he says sheyesh l'shol that you have this question to ask. Malku malku pirusha kosev. Tell me the answer to this, the explanation of this. E necha tirana yushalayim nava shanan. Back to that pasuk again. Your actual your eyes will see. The Yushalayim, and it would be a pleasant place. It would be a Nava Sha'anan, a dwelling place that will be quiet. 
What is Yerushalayim anyway? It's the Nukva de Zeranpin. She's a place which is quiet. There's peace there. Min hadinim from the dinim. The accusations stop. But this is a problem. Uh, he said, uh, so he said, he says, Yerushalayim is the Nukva de Zeranpin. So he said, "Okay, Nukva and Nikros Yerushalayim shall shake at the Sha'anan Minadinim." So is that what's happening? Is is that it's it's a, it's in a situation where everything is quiet and and peaceful. There are no accusations of Dinim. But it's written at the same time. The low cause of an Austin Yeshaya Al the Nukva says about her, "Kitzedek Yalin Ba," that righteousness. Let's see what righteousness means. Will will will. Will live with her. I guess that means Yalin. The Pirusha Shad Sadek, which is another word for Malchus, Shuhuba Bechinus Dinim, which is the Din aspect of Malchus, Yalin Ba Bismidos. There's always going to be Dinim over there. Be Yushalayim. We're talking about Yushalayim, which is the Nukva de Zeran Pen Shiha Nukva. The Asa de Ishtakach Sadek, Lav Shaket, Velav Shananu. So if you want to say, for well, the time when there's going to be courts, there's going to be justice, then that's not a time where everything is quiet. So he said, There's no quiet, there's no, there's no, there's no peace. Because that's the nature of Zinit, Dinim. Dinim are not going to quiet down, and they're not going to be nice and sweet forever, that's ever. So Rabbi Meishiv Elab, what's it trying to say? And Nachot Tirena, you shall look at the Navish Shana, and your lights, will, your eyes will see this. Who ki Navish Shana lo neemer al Yerushalayim? So that particular phrase, that it's going to be quiet and and, and peaceful, uh, he says that's not talking about Yerushalayim. Navish Shana la Atik Yomim Midmar. That's talking about Eric Anpin. El Navish Shana neemer al Eric Anpin the Nikra Atik Yomim. Shahu Nikra Nava Sha'anan. So it's Eric Anpin. That's the quiet, beautiful place. The Fish Ain Bahabin is Dinim Klau because in Eric Anpin there are no Dinim manifest. The Pirusha Kosov and it says like this the Pasuk says, Ka hu that's the way it is. Ki Yeshaya Hanavi Biroso Shayesh Bahin is Dinim when he walked out and he saw that there were Dinim around. Gavuros Banukva did Nikras Yushalayim and also well the Gavuros and the Nukva, that is, the left side pours into the Nukva, and it's dominating. Gamosha Ahmed Tzedek Yalim Bath, which is said, like this, this Tzedek, which is the execution of Din. Yalim Bath will, will reside with her. Lakach is Palo of Ahmed, so therefore he prayed and he said, like this, the Eric Anpin, Eric Anpin, and Nechoshel Eric Anpin, Sha'ata Nova Sha'anan below Bechinas Dinim Klau. So he's speaking about Eric Anpin. Now, personally, I don't really like it when they say it bothers me. The kach his palo the armor the Eric Anpin as if it's Eric Anpin is an independent uh, entity. But I guess what I so I wouldn't have said it like that. I I I think that what he means to say is is that you you direct your kavanos. Something happened here. Uh, call him back. Got you back? Yeah. Okay. So I think uh, I heard it go off. So I think we're still in Nachoshel Eric Anpin that you want to look at the eyes of, towards the eyes of Eric Anpin, Sha'ata Eric Anpin, Shannon below Bechinus Dinim Klau. It has no aspect of Dinim at all. But Tirana be Yushalayim, Lahamtik as Dinacho. So you'll see Yushalayim. And the idea there. Will be to sweeten her denim. The yash gadiyishkach be'ilan einin, and they have the supervision, the outlook, the the looking out will come from from uh, those eyes. V'hakavon the she'elo ganayim shall Eric Anpin. The idea is that these eyes of Eric Anpin, yash gicho v'yistakel be'eni zer Anpin. They should look over and they should look at the eyes of zer Anpin. V'az gam yismatku deni ganukva. So then you'll also see. That the dinim of the nukva will also be sweetened, ayide eni zeranpin, as a result of the eyes of zeranpin. Uh, I think it's still working. I haven't messed up anything yet. 
For Omar, and it says like this, it says like this, my recording's still going, let's see. For Omar, uh, so back to our Pasuk again, that I, quiet and pleasant, or quiet and shake uh, v'sha'anin, it's too love to lushanas and peaceful. Ki ha'ayin shal erik anpin he shak dachav sha'anna v'sha'anana. So what it is, it, it, it brings everything into total peace. She'en nimshach v'menu shum din klal. No din comes out of it at all. Ain't the rachame. It's an eye of mercy. Ayin shal rachamin. Ain't the lochnato b'ashkuchus adol l'ashkuchus achwa. It's an ayin she'en mash mishtanis mish ha'has so for example in Zeranpin, he goes back and forth the two eyes or they can shine together at the same time but over in Eric Anpin not it's always the same thing like for example Zeranpin that it actually can move over to those to looking at everything with the eye of Din and why does that happen? It has as a result of there's a relationship to what we're doing here. The fish ayin erik anpen mashgachas rach the toiv of alech and the emet toiv ayin hu yivorach. Nice phrase. He says that the eyes of erik anpen they look out on for only for good. Alech and the emar and it says in regards to them tov ayin hu yivorach or the good eye. If you look at things always, I apply it to myself. As, to, as the good part of those things, then you'll find the blessing. Maybe but now he wants to say, but this is really talking about Eric Anpin. So he says, your eyes, your eyes will see. Uh, 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 rather. He says the word is written, it's written, missing a yud at the end, below with a yud towards the end. There's a reason why the word yud, the letter yud, you know, just thinking that it refers to chokhmah, let's see, or, uh, which is also the ultimate right line of chesed. So why is it missing the second yud? Below Mali, why does it write it, you know, with the complete letter, a number of yudin? Mali uh, babes yudin. The Heinrich Shachakri, the way you read it, who einacho male, the really way that you see it is the word einacho with two yuds, a bebeis yudin, shuhul lashon rabim, which is plural. Vachsiv who einacho, but when you write it like this, without the second missing one yud, chaser beyud achas shuhul lashon yachid, it makes it singular. The fi shachakri, because it's written like this. So it really wants to say that the, this Pasuk is talking about the eyes of Eric Anpin. Because his two eyes, Nechshavos, the eye and Echad, they're really considered to be one eye. It's small because they don't have the concept with them of right and left. They're only, they become one. They are really only one. Shehem Rachamim Din. Shehem Rachamim Din, what is that? Ella Shte Einayim Hebe Bechinis Yamim of Rachamim. So they're not like two eyes, he said, which one side would be Rachamim, one side would be Din, but they're actually like one eye. Bumvor, oh, now we go more and we look at this more closely. Mada Ama Yushalayim. So we said the word Yushalayim, which we said refers to the Nukva of Zeranpin. Kimash Amar Apasak Einacha Tiranda Yushalayim. Your eyes will see Yushalayim. Below Tzion. Why didn't it say Tzion? What's the matter with Tzion? Below Omer Enecha Tiran at Tzion. Ugomosha Hizkir Tzion. For example, they're mentioning the word Tzion. At the be- excuse me, at the beginning of this Pasuk. Sheema Shedeem Arsham that it says over there. Chazay Tzion Kiryas Moadenu Enecha Tiranu Yushalayim. Now he has these two words in the same pasuk. He says, "Go over and see Tzion, Kiris Yemod, Kiris Moadenu." I guess it's the the city of our meeting over the Moadenu and Necha Tirano Yerushalayim. Your eyes will see Yerushalayim. He ne Tam. So why do we have two different words for this? So it's Mashma that Tzion and Yerushalayim really the same thing. 
Hine tam davar, who the reason is a hochi itzrech, you have to need it here. Ki davka shah nukla hi be darga yushalayim shahi be bechida dinim kasha. So he wants to say, if we said back over there, maybe we did say that, the Yushalayim is the concept of justice. Justice means hard dinim. That's when you need the looking out, you need to connect with the eyes of Eric Anpin, the Achviyah the Dinah, the Ishtakach Ba, Kdei Lakafos, in order to beat down, and the humble down the Lachnia Dinim Hamim Soim Az Basocha. Because at that time, when you're talking about Yushalayim, Lush and Justice and Dinim, then you have to come and see, you need Eric Anpin to come into that mix, Vilarachmala, and to bring mercy upon it, Vilarachem Alacho. In order to bring her some good bracha, shall uh, shall aras and I am of those eyes of Eric Anpin. So he wants to say the word Sion represents Rachamim. So then, it doesn't need to have any sweet of the sweetening of the eyes that are coming from up above. So therefore, it doesn't say that. When do you need Amr HaPasak Enecha where your eyes will be looking at Sion? You don't need that because Sion is Lashon Rachman. So maybe Rayash, you need it for Yushalayim, which is Lashon Din. Or maybe Rayash, Dargas Yushalayim, Enu Meir Ha'aras Ha'ayin Ha'aras Anpin, Eric Anpin. So it brings a raya that what? He says when you use the word Yerushalayim, that the eyes of Eric Anpin are not shining on it. Elameir ba eni zer Anpin, that's when the eyes of zer Anpin are shining by themselves, which is not a good thing. Because those eyes could have dinim, because their Anpin is three lines, and one of the lines is the line of din. But the Anna we learn like this. Ksiv ki ma, let me get this lined up here, one second. So Masha Kasev, what we have written over here, Eretz uh, Eretz Asher Hashem Elokecha Darer Shosecha Betami. The Shem is looking into this world all the time. Or the, uh, what is the word Elokecha Darer Shato? That's the land. Okay, the land. Eni Hashem Elokecha Bamba Mereshis Ashanav Ad Achri Shanav. They come for the beginning of the year, that all year long. They're, the whole year long, they are looking at Yushalayim, at, 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 the, at the land of Israel. So now we're talking about both eyes. And it's small. So here now, when you're using the words eyes, we're talking about Zer Anpin, because he has two different powers in his eyes. So therefore, they're shine, shining. Let's get get through the words again. That Eretz is another one of the words for for the female astra attribute. Uh, uh, the nukva is Anpin. Let me go back to this place here where it says Asher Heim Hameirim Eresh Shoshana. They shine from the beginning of the year. But Achris Shana Benukva Hanikras Eretz. So they're shining into the nukva, building her up into that area which is called Eretz. But the eyes of Eric Anpin are not shining on her. It would be only in the singular. It wouldn't be a nayim in plural. He says, He's talking, I guess, here about Eric Anpin. They're both the same aspect. They're both right sided because and since the Nukva does not have the illumination that's coming from the eyes of Eric Anpin, uh shall Anpin. And that's the reason why she doesn't have a direct pipe pipeline, apparently saying to the whiteness of Eric Anpin, it has to come through Zer Anpin. So Tzedek Yalin Ba, that when you're saying that you're a Tzedek, is another name for, as I said before, another name for, for Malchus, that Tzedek refers to the Din part of Malchus. Bezecha Shekasev Shad Tzedek, Shuchuba Bechinis Dinim, which is the aspect of Dinim, Yalin Ba Benukva, they're not going to, they dwell there with the Nukva, they're there with her. The Ba Ishtakach, you won't find them, that's where you find the Gizre of the Dinim Yate Bekal Shar Asre. So this is the most difficult place in the world. 
Levisha nim soim az benukva gazeris dinim yoser bekal shacham mekomos bebechinas ayonos. This is the place where the real ultimate manifestation, that my way of saying it, uh, uh, a manifestation of those dinim is found. They're more powerful here. They're collected here and more powerful. Because that's when you're looking at the nukva when she's at the level called Yushalayim. She hiba bechidas dinim kashem. The fish ain't mayor bahara's eye and Eric Eric Anpin because the eyes of Eric Anpin are not shining at dark. But Lakach is Palo Alech Yeshaya, so this is the reason why Yeshaya is praying to her. The Hashaya Navi. Let your eyes, speaking of Eric Anpin, look at Yushalayim. This, he straightened me up here. It's not shining into Yushalayim. It's not, the eyes of Eric Anpin are shining into the eyes of Zer Anpin. They turn Zer Anpin's lights, eyes into white, and that, in turn, has a spa, direct a spa into Eric, it is into Malchus, into Yerushalayim. Because Matkva Adenim, and there that will sweeten up those Dinim. Shall Eidi Zer Anpin, the eyes of Zer Anpin, Barachmem, Abishutim, with a simple Rachmem, Shall Eini Eric Anpin, of the eyes of Eric Anpin, the Oz, Kishiyayer, Eini Zer Anpin, and there you see when the eyes of Zer Anpin are illuminated. So then, that's what I was saying, is, is that now that Zeranpen has received this light from up above, as he's looking up, he brings it down. And he brings it down to the Nukva. It sweetens up those denim. Akashim shall Yushalayim become from the concept called Yushalayim. Thank you very much for learning with me today, Rabbi. I appreciate it very much. Paul Paul Tuf. Bye-bye. And that is the shear for today. A little bit beaten up, and I apologize for that. This is Baruch Fleischman at the Tikkun Elevator Call.